What's going on, everybody? Uh, Wally here. I had to, I had to fix that. I can't really say iconic Wally anymore because, unfortunately, a few of us have decided to ultimately leave the team, and in a sense, uh, form a new team. So what you're seeing here is some Operation Lockers. Uh, basically, I just recorded one of the Obliteration games that lasted for about 30 minutes, and I just put a bunch of clips together where I got a few kills. Uh, it's it's a lot different than, than BF3 to say like uh, definitely an obliteration. I noticed I'm getting shot in my back more. There's not like a lot of clips where I stay alive for very long. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I got to change up my playstyle. I do play pretty aggressively, but I am enjoying it. You know, there's a lot of problems with netcode, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. I know a lot of people are, are complaining about it on the forums, and I kind of understand that. Uh, I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed Battlefield. I've always adapted and, and sort of gotten the good feel for it and played. The gun I'm running right now is the Scorpion, it's the, the CMZ. It's pretty, it's awesome. It, it rips people. Um, I'm a big fan of the carbines, but I've been playing a little bit with the last, let's say the last few days, or last day, yesterday, basically, when I was recording. I was mainly using PDWs. And this one is awesome. Uh, the J, the JS2, I don't know if I'm getting it correctly, is awesome. And then the PDWR are, are, are just, they're all fantastic guns. A lot of them are great. The carbines are pretty much what I'm probably going to run anyway. But, uh, but I've just the PDWs are, are so much fun to run because you can just rip people and have a great time with it. So anyway, this is going to be a short video, but I figured I'd just let you all know, in a sense, what's going on. So basically, it's kind of been in the works for a while. We did have like a meeting about changing our team image, and then from there on, it was kind of like a sense like, oh, it's a good idea. Uh, kind of went along with it. Nothing really changed. And then I, I kind of just made the decision, uh, along with a few other people, saying, look, like, I'm, I was going to leave the team anyway. Uh, if we didn't change our name, changed our team image, whatever it was, I, I was going to leave. And basically the, the idea is we're going to start a new team uh, with a few of the uh, original players on Iconic and a few other players, basically. We're going to make a new team and then maybe pick up uh, or have a, have a new team with uh, maybe two or three other people. And the potential is we're going to have like two fives teams in a sense, maybe just one competitive fives team and a few other people just doing, you know, media like me or something like that, just having a good time. That That's kind of the uh, the idea, but as far as it goes, I don't know how well it's going to work out. I, I have a good idea. I did have to change a few things, obviously, like the YouTube. I, I changed the Twitter already uh, because, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want it to be seen as selfish. Like, that's not the goal here. I'm not trying to be like, oh... Uh, I can get my own fame now. None of that. that. That's not what I'm going for. I just want to try something new. I kind of want to play with uh, new people and really experience a little bit more of the competitive Battlefield side. Hopefully it gets competitive in BF4. If not, you know, whatever. I'll just continue to be a pub star. I'm not, not really freaking out about it either way. Uh, as far as that goes, that, that's pretty much the reason. Like, There's there's more to it than that, but like, as, as the sake of like keeping friendships and, and trying to be nice to people and, and everything like that, I, I don't really want to get into it. Uh, too much. It was definitely nothing that anyone did on the team. Uh, everyone who plays for Iconic and, and had, like I had the opportunity to play with, they're all great players. Um, nothing nothing ch will change that. Nothing I say can change that. I mean, you know, I was there when most of those guys got recruited. So, like, it, it's, it's one of those things that, like, I have a lot of respect for those guys, uh, regardless of what is said or what will be said. Those guys on the team are, are great players, and I wish them nothing but the best. And I have nothing but the, like the ultimate respect for those individuals that continue to play and continue to like really keep the comp scene going. Like without those guys, the, the comp scene, in my opinion, would kind of be uh, so-so. And, and I have a lot of respect for individuals like that who put the time forth to get the comp scene going. Um, but other, you know, th that's that's pretty much how I feel. Um, I love everyone on that team. I still do. Uh, I like. I enjoyed all of my time with them immensely. Um, you know, it was just one of those things that I guess just had to happen. It's unfortunate, but it had to happen. Uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of bummed out, but, you know, at the same time, I'm kind of excited looking for a new team. Um, so, as far as this YouTube, probably just going to, like, since, like, I'm not going to sit there and shorthand and uh, take credit away from anyone. Like, if, if, I, if anyone still wants to run Iconic and they want to take this YouTube and, and like, make it the team YouTube and keep the team YouTube, I'll give it up and give it to them. I, I have no problem doing that. I have no problem being like, yeah, yeah, you know, it, it basically is the team YouTube. I mean, I've been doing 90% of the work, but at the same time, like, it's still the teams. Um, that, that's pretty much what I said. The Twitter, probably just going to take the Twitter. I know that that's kind of selfish, but I'm the only one who has information for it. I'm the only one who uses it, really. Um, so I, I'm probably going to, like, keep that there. I, I hopefully, 
I have a feeling this is going to go bad in many ways, but hopefully um, I can keep uh, a semblance of respect from the community. If not, you know, whatever, I guess I'll just live with that. But I appreciate all the support I've been given, especially when I was playing on the team. Um, and hopefully I'll continue to get that support from you guys when I'm playing for a new team or, or being just a pub star or YouTuber, whatever it, whatever it turns out to be. I definitely am going to try to continue to play competitively. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting for the X1 to drop because basically, there's no point playing comp right now. Diffuse is broken. Uh, there's no 5v5 DOM. There's no private servers. Um, you know, and I have a lot of respect for the people playing it right now. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but this game, in its current state, is is almost unplayable competitively. I, I'd say it's playable, but it's it's the point where um, it's more fun to play pubs. So uh, definitely look in this channel for future future videos. Uh, Payne is definitely going to put up probably the vlogs from London. If you guys have any questions about London and you want to know anything about the X1 um, or, or BF4 and what I saw and what I noticed, um, feel free to ask me. Feel free to just drop me a message either on Twitter or on uh, YouTube here or on Battlelog. Whatever it happens to be, uh, I am always open to any kind of questions. I can answer them the best I can. So I'll have a link in the Twitter below. But that's pretty much it. I love all you guys. Hopefully uh, nothing changes. Nothing plans to change for me. But that'll do it for me. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.